yeah, the laws of heaven are in the realm of eternities, so we could say that that the way that the laws of heaven translate into what we perceive as perception or the realm of earth are uh, giving and receiving are the same. All that I give, I give to myself. Uh, everything that I extend, I extend to myself. Every gift that I give, I give to myself. Uh, it's, it's a state of mind where it's like a more of a, a sense of radiating or extending. Uh, it's like ever extending, ever radiating, and, and in one sense, it's like a, a, a movement without motion. It's like a, an extending or radiating of love. And really love, love is the only law. So it's simple, unlike in this world where we have many different laws. It's just one law. And uh, sometimes it, it can be called, in this world, karma. Uh, or what comes around goes around. I mean, there's lots of different ways of talking about it. but. Sometimes, you might have seen me using this uh, movie that George Clooney was in called Solaris. I did a lot of commentary on that movie where the planet actually represented the divine law, the law of heaven. And the closer that the characters got to it, the more that they could see that all of their memories were, were right in front of them and their thoughts were made manifest instantly, or close to instantly. And so that was a symbol of how when I talk about swift or when I talk about speed up, that's what we're talking about, coming closer and closer to the heavenly law, the divine law. And ultimately, if you go all the way into it, you, you have an experience where you start to realize that, that the entire cosmos is your mind. That you're, you're not a little human being with a separate little perspective, but literally the whole cosmos is all connected, as they talk about in quantum physics. It's, there's no gradations to it, there's no levels to it, there's no distance to it. And it ultimately results in this awareness that there is nothing outside of you. That you are everything and everything is you. And everything is, is actually within your mind. That, that there's actually nothing outside of, of the mind. And this, this contradicts the, the human, daily human experience where there seems to be an inner and an outer. There seems to be a subject and an object. There seems to be an observer, observed. You know, it's, it's the sense that there seems to be externals that are always operating and you have to pay attention to the externals. So, in, in summary, the simplicity is the laws of, of heaven is really just the law of love, which is the only law that there is. So, when we let go of all the make-believe laws of this world, it's a good thing because we return back to the remembrance of, of the one law that is real, which is the law of love. Uh, the Beatles said, all you need is love. They could have said, all you need is to remember your true self, or to remember the source, or to remember God. It would be saying the same thing. And, and I love that truth is that simple. It's not a complicated thing. It's not like, you know, you finally make it back to heaven, then you got to take a test <coughs> to see if you qualify <laughs> to be there, you know, because it's who we are. It's, it's the testing and all the evaluation and all of the uh, comparisons and so on and so forth are all part of the laws of this world, which is just distorted egoic laws that don't have any foundation and have no basis. I think that's the, one of the the most fun things I like about, about true, deep awareness of, of the Spirit is there's no more test. Uh, I never was really fond of tests, really. I mean, I look back, I was in university for 10 years, I didn't like exams. Uh, one of, when I was in graduate school, I was, I was uh, in this um, school psychology program. We had to learn all this Stanford Binet and Waste and all these intelligence tests really rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, every time I'd go into class, I'd think, I, I don't feel like I'm in the right place here, because uh, I, I don't 
can't imagine myself administering tests for a career. And I still trusted that, that I was in the right place at the right time for some kind of healing and undoing, but, but it wasn't something I was looking to use. And I really have, have never enjoyed tests and evaluations, even though they're very much a part of the laws of this world. And um, it seems like it's been quite a while. I think the only time I can think of, of taking a test was in the state of Utah to get a driver's license. I think I had to take a test. So I walked in there and it's, a, it's an open book test. And so that was the last test that I've ever taken in this world. I went over there and I just, I got the test and I opened the book and I looked at the questions and I go, and I just transfer it. It didn't involve any memory. <laughs> just my little fingers could do it. In fact, my friend Lisa was with me and she was watching from a distance. She said, oh, God, Dave is cheating on his test. She had just, she had been out in the car and she had to take a test too. She, she came in and she saw me. <laughs> He's got the book open, He's not even his cheat sheet, you know. But, but, you see, I was, I was given permission to do an open book test. And that's the most fun test that I've ever had. And that's the last test I think I took. I think my driver's license, hopefully I'll come and it will be renewable over here in Hawaii or somewhere. So I'll, I'll get another reprieve from test. But that's, that's one of the benefits of, of opening to the law of love, is it's just pure acceptance. There's not, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, to yourself or to anyone. It's just pure acceptance. Just accepting what is, you know. How, how difficult can that be? If what is is what is, and all you're asked to do is accept what is, then that has to be the simplest thing that we could ever be called to do. And it's only that the ego that tries to make it complicated, and I'd say pretty much we're, we're getting on to that ego, though. We're starting to realize we don't have to listen to it, we can ignore it, we can overlook it, we can let it go, and we don't really have to act upon it anymore. We don't have to react to it, you know. There's no, there's no big bad wolf uh, that we should be so concerned about. There are no monsters anymore, you know. Just relax, go slow and you're already home, you know, that's the feeling. So that's, that's why we're here, to relax into that. <laughs>